He was a big man with broad shoulders, head bowed and walking towards the mosque, his face red with anger. It was Friday at the Muncie Islamic Center in Muncie, Indiana, and the mosque was packed with people who had come for ass prayers. With a USMC tattoo on his right arm and a skull tattoo on his left hand, he stood out. His name was Richard Mackim Kinney, and he was not there to worship, but to destroy. He was a former U.S. Marine who developed a hatred of Islam while fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. I told people that Islam is a cancer, and I was the surgeon to cure it. This is former U.S. Marine Richard McKinney. Richard hated Islam very much, but when his hatred turned into love for Islam, he himself did not know. Richard hated Islam to such an extent that he prepared to bomb a mosque, thinking of extremism and terrorism. Richard wanted to kill Muslims, but maybe fate had something else in mind, that's why their hatred turned into love. Richard served 25 years in the US Army. During his 25 years of military experience, Richard said that during that time he had participated in five different battles, for which he had to stay abroad. He explains that I retired, and then I planned to destroy the main Islamic center in the homeland. Richard was fully prepared and enthusiastic to carry out this plan, but at the same time he decided that he should give evidence. Required. I needed concrete evidence for these people, so that I could tell my loved ones that I was doing the right thing, said Richard. Everyone who knew me knew how much I hated Muslims. I was even handcuffed to the front lawn by the FBI when my wife found out I was building a bomb. Richard was looking forward to Ramadan because he believed that the mosques would be more crowded during Ramadan, which would further strengthen his goal. And then during Friday prayers, Richard was about to detonate the bomb. After spending two years on this project, Richard was close to achieving his goal. However, when he arrived at the mosque, he was met with a warm and impressive reception from the Muslims. Surprised, he explains that they made me feel that I belonged among them, accepted me even though I was not a Muslim until then. Meanwhile, the worshippers also gave Richard the Quran and told him to read it and if he had any questions, he would ask. After which Richard also researched and realized that my opinion about Islam and Muslims was wrong. Richard had understood the Quran with translations, after which he realized that what was in the Quran was contrary to what non-Muslims were being told about Muslims, after which Richard himself also accepted Islam. The interesting thing is that after accepting Islam, Richard was elected as the president of the same building that he wanted to destroy with an explosion.